News from the SVD. On August 1st, five men officially joined the Society of the Divine Word by professing religious vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience after the completion of a year-long novitiate, a year of prayer, reflection, and learning more about the religious order. The ceremony was held in the Chapel of the Divine Word Residence at Techni, Illinois. Due to the restrictions on visitors and travel, attendance was limited to members of the Techni community. In the coming days, all five men will move to Divine Word Theologate and begin coursework at Catholic Theological Union in Chicago. The men are Ryan Ogbing, born in Newark, New Jersey, Mark Declama from Haiti, David Kojo Imam from Togo, and Joseph Hui Nguyen and Tong Din Tran from Vietnam. Under the guidance of novice director Timothy Lenchak and associate director Matthew Zimel, they professed first vows before Quang Duc Ding provincial of Chicago province of the Society of the Divine Word and Walter Miller, rector of Techni Residence, Chicago. In another simple ceremony at the Divine Word Residence Chapel, six new novices began their year-long novitiate training, having successfully completed studies at Divine Word College in Epworth, Iowa. They are Joubert Felice, Visvel Joseph, Michelet Boncure, Tu Nguyen, Samuel Loyar, and Baruch Zinsu. Five other members have received their first assignments from Father Superior General at the Generalate in Rome. After completing their training for priesthood and professing perpetual vows in October, they will be ordained in May 2021. They are Ido Adolfanato, assigned to Brazil, Amazon province, Min Andin and Akisu Gerard Kamina to Chicago province, Hai Ngoc Pham to U.S. Southern province, and Francisco Santoso to U.S. Western province. Akil Thomas, assigned to U.S. Western Province, was ordained recently after multiple postponements due to coronavirus situation. Akil is from Kerala, India. He completed his theological studies and other priestly formation under the Society of the Divine Word in India and will arrive in the U.S. Western Province upon receiving his religious worker visa. Response to Global Warming Professor V. Ramanathan, prominent eco-scientist at the University of California, San Diego, and advisor to Pope Francis, has offered a 10-point response to the problem of global warming, which was recently presented to Congress. First, develop a rapid response plan to deal with weather and climate extremes with very special attention to the spread of waterborne and vector-borne diseases and to the mental health impacts of losing loved ones and property. Two, develop a rapid response plan for rural farmers in case of widespread droughts, particularly in Midwest, Southwest, and West Coast states. Three, Develop a rapid response plan to retrain the 1.1 million workers in the fossil fuels extraction industry. They can then join the 3 million Americans working in technologies related to low carbon energy sources and energy efficiency and speed the transition to cleaner sources of energy. Four, create a bill to ban dumping food into landfills and instead convert the wasted food into biofuels. We throw about 40% of the processed food into landfills. In addition, recover methane from water treatment plants and farm manure. Five, create a bill to avoid fugitive methane emissions during the production and distribution of natural gas. 
This bill, along with solution four, will reduce the warming from methane, the second largest global warming source. Six, create a bill to ensure all diesel vehicles are fitted with particulate filters to eliminate emissions of black carbon, the third largest source of warming. Seven, create market incentives to replace refrigerants HFCs by 2030 in air conditioners and other cooling equipment with climate neutral refrigerants while also doubling their energy efficiencies. Solutions numbers four through seven, if adopted globally, will cut the rate of warming by half before 2050. Eight, create a public private partnership to speed the development of scalable technologies that can remove annually 5 billion tons of carbon dioxide from the air beginning in 2030. Nine, back in your states and districts, bring together people working in science, policy, and religion into new alliances. Many religious leaders are already deeply concerned about the harm being caused to God's creation. Such alliances will help assuage the suffering that climate impacts will cause people. These alliances can provide a forum to reach out to the public directly. And finally, number 10, promote mass scale climate education of kindergarten to college level students and the general public. The University of California, along with the California State University System, has already created a climate solutions course with the sole purpose of educating one million to bend the curve. That's all for this edition of Mission Minute News. Until we meet again in our next edition, stay safe and may Jesus' love for you Make you smile.